Okay, so let me set this video up. We are um, nearing the end of the session. The uh, uh, Guardian's uh, six-year-old daughter, Peyton, is about to come home. And so what I wanted to do was give the Guardian the ability to use what we've learned in the session and apply it towards the dog's behavior when Peyton comes into the room. So basically, we just don't want the dogs to jump up on Peyton and be overexcited. Yeah, and so you're gonna hiss, stand up, you're already standing, so you're gonna march towards them. But again, the hiss, try to be preemptive about it. All right, so they hear, and Peyton, or at least Hamilton does. Is, you can, hey, you can come in this door. Is there a Peyton in the house? Tay. So they're going around this way? That's right. Now th that's okay. Okay. Okay, come in, Peyton. Come in. Hi, Peyton. Hi. Now, now, now uh, can you hold on a sec? Now you're trying to do both of them at the same time. Pick okay. one. Pick one. And focus on okay. one and move that dog away first. Okay. So I would probably focus on Hamilton first. Okay. Just insert, and don't use your hands. Oh. Just insert yourself and put your hands down. Just act casual. Just walk towards him. Perfect. Now see, once he moved away, then uh, Georgie kind of moved away. Now stop. Okay. Now you're also kind of walking kind of little steps. Bigger, bolder steps. That was better. Okay, you were kind of- i try to get him to not jump on you. Hi, Georgie. Now you don't want to necessarily move Please. towards him. You, uh, or you use your legs as battering rams. Uh, you just want to be so uh, deliberate in, in your movement towards him that it causes him to want to move away. Now, right now it's okay because he's not overexcited. Yeah, he's not not up. Exactly. But your your technique when you're watching this, you're gonna watch my version of the video uh, yeah. and then watch yourself. But you'll see you were kind of doing yeah. So see how that one hiss yeah. got him to stop. You're a good hisser. You'll get better at it as you practice. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, they stole that out of there, Peyton. Actually, right. Peyton, can you help us out? Sit. Oh, that was great. Peyton, can you help us out? Mm -hmm. I want you to come over here. Oh, no, with your, we need to. No, you want the bears? I want the bears. Oh, she, he loves to eat the bears. I want to teach the dogs that they can't have your bears because they're your bears, right? Yeah, right? So can we come in here? I want you to just put them. I'm David. Nice to meet you. I want you to just put them down on the floor right here. Just one of them. So if the dog approaches it, I would put like a three foot circle around it. If the dog approaches it, okay. you're gonna make the, and, and she's approaching it, but she's not paying attention to it. Right. So I don't really care about jo what Georgie's doing. But if she were approaching it, looking at it, like I'm gonna chew that bunny rabbit, you make the hissing sound when she's about three feet away. And that was, that was now she's stationary. We don't wanna do too much for right. her because she's, but that was good confidence for her. You hissed and she didn't run off like she was earlier. Okay, so see, that, see that, how she, t she looked at it and she walked circular fashion around it. She's trying to keep her distance. This is how I teach dogs that they're supposed to stay away from something is by when I have time, putting it on the floor so they have full access to it and then disagreeing when they now show don't interest. Pet, Peyton, don't pet yet. This is what teaches them, oh, when I approach the bunny rabbit, they disagree. Right. But if I walk by the bunny rabbit, nothing happens. Right. Okay, so it's the bunny rabbit they don't want me to get into. Okay. Um, so now let's, now Peyton, can you take one of your other ones and throw it on the floor? She's not gonna do that. Yeah, there we go. Now movement is a hard trigger for dogs. Uh, movement is usually what's gonna get them to come forward and try to take it. Um, now she is obviously your more insecure dog. So that's why I think teaching, uh, we didn't yeah, talk about this, but off, uh, off camera, but what I would do is go to YouTube and find some tricks that you can teach her. Try to teach her a new one each week. Okay. And I would teach them both simultaneously, teach them separately. Okay. But the more, conf the more the tricks that she learns, the more confidence she's gonna have. Okay. So normally these, these are things that the dogs want to get, but because of all the structure we've incorporated earlier in the session, she doesn't feel, they don't, they don't understand. And when you watch the video, Georgie walked, looked at it and took, now in that case, and one other thing, you lean forward and you hiss. Just keep your hips, uh, your, your shoulders back and your chin up. And if that doesn't work, then walk right at the dog. Walk through the uh, Hamilton while he's up on the counter. If you bump into him, that's fine. Okay. All right, this is how, well, this is how we, uh, the, the uh, I, was, I wouldn't say the after version, but this is a comparison. So I want you to watch my video uh, of when uh, you arrived and then watch the vi this video of when your daughter arrived and just try to kind of mimic what I did. You were kind of throwing, your, you're kind of, kind of doing a little bit of a walk. <laughs> Let me show you real quick. So hold this. Okay. 
So the dog was here. You were kind of doing a, right. kind of a, Can't you were trying wait. to move them back almost like, yeah. you weren't trying to kick them, but almost like moving them back with your leg movements. What I do is I want to almost project like you have a force field of energy. And we can't see it, but Georgie's behind the, yeah. underneath the guardian, and she took a step back. But you have to be very confident, and one smooth, fluid movement helps uh. the dog. You want to give them that flinching experience. So the bigger, bolder movement creates more of this. You were doing kind of a lot of yeah. bolder movements, <laughs> and you were doing more of almost a dance. <laughs> yeah. So, um, all right, so this is how we can uh, teach our dogs to stay away from particular items and to claim people when they are, to prevent them from claiming people when they come through the door.